I've got a tiny ulcer on the tip of my tongue and it kind of hurts to talk. Ah. So welcome to the vlog. It's Thursday and I've not filmed anything until now. It's been a slow week and um, I've basically been channeling all of my free time and motivation into finishing the hiking video which by the by by the time you're actually watching this should be done fingers crossed and if so link will be in the description but take a look because I work my ass I am still working my ass off on that thing speaking of hiking though Singapore is officially gonna exit the circuit breaker in the beginning of June and Although they'll be doing it in phases, which means that in phase 1, a lot of the restrictions will still remain in place. But I think it would at least mean that I can go solo hiking again. So the main reason I thought it wasn't a good idea to go solo hiking up till now is because there is kind of an intention to keep people in their respective areas in Singapore. So you don't want people to be traveling across areas and mingling that way. But in phase one of the reopening, some workplaces will start opening again and schools will also start to open again. And so that kind of intermingling is going to start happening anyway. And so I think that that means that it really wouldn't make much of a difference if I were to go for a solo hike in Singapore. So I'm gonna start looking into that, make some simple plans and stuff. Meanwhile, if you would like to know what hiking in Singapore is like, that's what the video is about, so... Also, if you saw last week's vlog, you would know that my reusable face mask came apart. Well, lucky for me, the government is giving out new masks now, and I went and got mine. Just yesterday. I haven't opened it yet. Let's take a look. Hmm. Fabric. Hold on. Hmm. It feels pretty comfortable, but I get a feeling that this is going to muffle me even more than the last one. It definitely feels thicker, but it fits better. The last one felt a bit small for me. It breathes decently. I don't know if you can even hear me because I can feel it muffling me. I think it also looks better than the last one. It's funny because when you really don't want to do something, like get out of the house, the best thing you can probably do for yourself is to go ahead and get out of the house. That's what I'm doing now. Fighting off the lethargy, the struggle continues. Also, I really need groceries, so that's that. Dude, I think I'm actually done with the hiking video. It's like rendering right now. What is hopefully, fingers crossed, the final cut. Feels good, man. I think I'm fairly satisfied with the video this time. 
I've managed to do to a good degree what I kind of set out to do. Uh, it's not perfect, that's for sure. I kind of tried out a sort of different musical direction as well. And God knows that my music writing skills is still at a rookie level. So I got more or less to the point that I want to get. It's not beautiful, it's not perfect, but it's something I think I can be quite proud of. So I wish I was able to write one more piece for the, for the video, but well, it'll have to be what it is, I guess. Rendering is rendering. Another cooling day. Over. Seems like a pretty nice sunset, so I'm gonna take a walk, I guess. I just wanna be in bed. I just wanna be in bed. I've always been curious about something but over here there is a abandoned railroad that doesn't seem to be blocked away and I'm wondering if it leads to the bridge the one that passes over the waters and if so I think that'll look pretty cool so I'm going to go check it out Oh man, this leg's blocked away. So it does indeed lead to the bridge, but you can't actually get to it. Not much you can see through the through the gate as well. It's still kind of cool. I guess that was today's adventure. You know, I'm always talking about how Singapore doesn't have mosquitoes and everything, and that's you know that's pretty cool and pretty amazing, but. Doesn't mean that there's nothing to worry about. The minute you leave the well defined footpaths, you're basically in ant territory and they will f you up. I've been bitten all over already. Ugh. That's gonna do it for this week. 
I actually spent yesterday, which is Saturday, kind of just taking it easy because I kind of spent the last week, you know, spent all of my free time working on a hiking video. And the thing about editing videos is that even though it's a hobby, and it is a hobby because, you know, I kind of enjoy doing it and I'm happy when I produce something that, you know, matches up to my expectations in some sense. The thing about editing videos is that it seems to exercise the same part of me that gets exercised with work. So after spending the last week, you know, doing like job work, then editing work, then job work, then editing work, then job work, then editing work, I guess I kind of felt a bit burnt out. So I decided to take it easy yesterday and Saturday, play a lot of piano, play a lot of Starcraft, and it was, it was great, it was very relaxing. I actually also have a little something recorded from the piano yesterday, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll that in uh, at the end of this video. It's from an anime series called Aria. And Aria, I think, is a series that I would like to talk about in more detail someday, but it's just a show that has a very, you could almost say formative place in my imaginative life. If the pieces of beauty that we find in this world are meant as material, for imagination to be able to grasp heaven, then I would say that Neo Venezia would always have a place in my slice of paradise. Hatsukashi se